<laughs> River Hawks to uh, take on Merrimack College basketball at the Sangu Center on Saturday. Joining us, the head coach of the River Hawks, Greg Horanda, and, and coach. First off, is it fun? Is it, it's got to be a different experience. Is it a fun experience playing basketball at the Sangu? Oh, yeah. Yes, I think our players are very excited. We, you know, we had a good win there last year, but just the fact I'm playing in an arena with our own floor, and now it's our Sangha Center, and uh, I, I think the players are very excited about it. I know it's not our exact home court where we practice every day, but it's still on our turf, and, and the players are very excited about it, and so am I. I know athletes, to be to some extent, uh, tied closely to habits and routine. Does it really feel like a home game? The routine's going to be different. The locker room's going to be different. Yeah, it's our building. Yeah, we own it. Yeah, it's your locker room. Yes, right. it's our building. It's a different shooting background, a different floor. Does it truly feel like a home game, or is there a little bit of uh, it's, it's No, it's a, it's, a, it's a home game on steroids. You know, you have a big arena. You have our great new floors down there. We'll have some, I think, extra fans because we're playing Merrimack, and it's a... It's a a rivalry game, so I think our players are very uh, comfortable, although it's different, and right now a change might not be bad. You know, we've had three consecutive losses, and, and we need to win a game, and I think going over there might be a little shot in the arm that, that we need, but uh, but I think our players want to play more games there as well as the does the head coach, and uh, we're, we're very excited about it, and it's definitely a, a home game for us. As I say, Merrimack, not an easy opponent. No, I mean, no one's, no one in this, and I said it before the season, the league is so balanced, and you look at a team like right, St. Rose right now doesn't have a win, um, St. A's doesn't have a conference win, you know, right now we're not playing great basketball, so you have to play no matter who you're playing every night, or else uh, you're going to be in for, for trouble, so uh, the league is great, and uh, Merrimack is, always plays very hard, there's a rivalry, uh, from our hockey teams back in the Division Two days of our hockey program, and it's it's uh, you know it's on the river and it's going to be a war. And last year we were lucky to get the tip in at the buzzer to win, and uh, we feel confident that we'll bounce back. And uh, we're very excited about Saturday afternoon. What are we doing when we win that we're not doing when we lose that we have to get back to doing? <laughs> That's a loaded, obviously a loaded question, but no, we, you have to do three things. You have to defend, rebound, and score, and we're doing one each night. Last night against Stone Hill, I think we defended. We held them to 38%. We rebounded okay. We didn't score. We t turned the basketball over, so you've got to do those three things consistently, and we were doing those things consistently our first five games, including Providence, and then once we went up to St. Mike's, we kind of... Uh, took a step backwards, and we haven't been able to take a step forward since. But, you know, we're working hard, and we're a little banged up, but that's that's part of college basketball, and it's not always going to be easy. So, you know, we're 4-3, and three and sometimes you walk around and you feel like you're 3-30, and 30, but we're 4-3, and three and we have three home games before exams, and uh, we're going to battle each game uh, individually and be excited uh, for Saturday and then for Wednesday and then for Saturday. I was going to say that this team, yeah, they haven't shot well of late. But do you feel as though this is a good shooting team? We're going to get out of this. Oh, or I, is there a bigger concern there? No, no, no. We're very good. We have very good shooters. We, the key to being a good shooting team is to take good shots. So we have to work to take better shots, not turn the basketball over. That's when the basketball goes in. So it's a lot of people think whether you're hot or you're not, it's the shot that you're taking and when you're getting shot. I think right now we're forcing shots and we're turning the basketball over. So once we combine, you know, we've won here by defending and running and scoring and stopping and turning people over. And once we get into that formula, then, then we'll be fine. And right now we're uh, on the skids a little bit, but uh, we'll be back. All right, Coach. Hardwood floor down at the Sanga Center. Uh, you got the 4 o'clock game. We look forward to getting a W. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you.